Let's talk about drawing freehand ellipses. Now I'm going to fill this page with ellipses, but I'm going to start with just one and I'm going to swing from my shoulder and pretend I'm making one and then put the pencil down and finally make one. And then I'm going to find that minor axis. That's the straight line that passes through the narrowest part of the ellipse. There's a thinner ellipse. You'll notice I'm drawing from the shoulder a lot here especially with the ellipses. I'm swinging that elliptical shape from the shoulder and then I'm committing with the pencil. That one was a little funky, didn't finish that one off great. That's fine, this is practice. You're not gonna draw a perfect ellipse every time, but you'll draw more and more of them the more you practice. You'll see how these look like the example. There's a continuous curve throughout them. The ends aren't pinched like a football. There's no flat spots on them like a hot dog. It's just a continuous curve throughout. Missed that little spot there. This ghosting of the movement, making the movement in the air before committing to the line, is really helpful to to get you used to how to make a good ellipse. It gets your muscles familiar with what the shape's gonna be like when you make it. And you kind of iron out weirdnesses when you're faking it, that when you press the pencil down, you end up making a clearer mark that way. So I'm just filling the page here with these ellipses. And then I'm gonna go through and find their minor axes. So there's minor axis, there's the minor axis for that one, all the way throughout the page. You'll notice there's a variety of ellipses here. They're at different angles. Some of them are thin ellipses, some of them are wide ellipses. You want to try to shoot for a variety because you don't want to get used to only drawing the same kind of ellipse always. You want to be able to draw the type of ellipse that the drawing needs. So you need to be able to draw a variety of ellipses. I think I'll fill in this little space. Any little gaps that I left, I'll put a little ellipse there. Maybe an ellipse over in this little gap. So that's practicing freehand ellipses.